Bam, and we back. Welcome back to another edition of East with Fifi. Guess what we got to meet today? Y'all see it. Today, we have snow crab. We have some potatoes. We got some corn. We have some crawfish and some of that kibasa garlic jalapeno. So, so. And over here, we got some uh, snap peas and baby bok choy. Y'all see that? Got a little butter and salt and pepper. Bam. And then here. Mm -hmm. Here, you guys, we have my butter, lemon, pepper, butter sauce. Yep, that's what we got. And if you saw the previous video, I told you I made it. I did slice some garlic, some onion, some... Did I do ginger? No. And this one, I didn't do ginger. I did garlic and onion, sauteed that. I put a little oregano off in there. A little basil, butter, lemon pepper. And I think that's it. I think I kept it pretty simple. It's pretty good. Mm. Ooh, lime juice. All right, y'all. Let's get into the video. Hope you guys had a wonderful day today. Hope your week has been great. If you hear any sizzle, you already know it's from my... Mm. It's from my um, hot plate being on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Corn is good today. Nine out of ten. Some of the corn are kind of big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice up. So, do you like seafood? And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you'd like to see me eat. Put another offer on the house today, so we'll see. If he gets accepted or not. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Corn is good. Okay. Part's done. Don't forget to eat your veggies. Mm-hmm. We got that crawfish on deck, y'all. <clears throat> so what's your favorite butter sauce? Hmm? Are you just plain butter? Team plain butter? Put it in the comment section. Are you team plain butter? Team spicy? Team garlic butter? Or team savory? Or sweet savory? Oh, there's a particular person's sauce you like. Put that in the comment section, too. It's all about preference. Everybody got a preference, what they like. I like a variety. I like variety. I went to Sam's today to um, pick up some king crabs. And I thought they were sold out. My feelings was almost hurt. There's a nice guy there who took me to show me where they now carry them. They put them in the freezer now. So that made me happy. That made me very happy, y'all. But it was $65 for two legs. Well, we can do a lot with two legs. At least I can. Mm -hmm. 
I can do a lot with two legs. I can actually make two legs four to six meals. Uh, for me, personally. A lot of people don't. Oh, yeah, you guys, guess what? I can't. Right in my mouth. I ain't through my meat. No, sir. You can get that. Uh, I, um, I gained some weight. Get on the scale today. I'm 126. Yes, I am. It seems like when I stop focusing on a number, and started focusing on uh, eating the right food. Um, start getting results. I guess you say when I started focusing on doing, I got results. So, mm. so. this snow crab action going on I got the snow crab from Tom Thumb and the snow crab is going for $16.99 a pound what do y'all think about that price point I think it's outrageous <clears throat> I remember when I started uh, buying uh, snow crabs to cook myself they was I was getting them on sale for $7.99 a pound I tell you what, demand really drives up prices. But that's okay. I think a snow crab is the most popular um, crab down here. For the most part. Mm -mm. Might be might be the most affordable. That's might might be the most popular. These are about normal size, average size blades. Ain't nothing like what KC Connection be having. We'll work what we got. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And the sauce is good, y'all. The sauce is just good. I was about to stop eating the sausage because I was fooling with the other sauces. Yeah, I, I, so I asked for two clusters. And it came to $13 and some change. It wasn't quite a pound. So if you're interested in doing a seafood bowl and you feel like it might be too expensive, but you would like to treat yourself, only thing you have to do, go get you one cluster. Just one. Go get you some crawfish. If you like crawfish, if you don't like crawfish, get you some clams. You can get you some clams for $2 or some mussels for uh, under $3. You just get the one slit. And uh, get you some potatoes. Get you some corn. Whatever else you want to stick off an air show bowl, you can do what you want. It's your business. And uh, cook it up. You can make whatever butter sauce you want. Especially if you are a white life surgery patient. Seafood is probably one of your best friends. And the reason why I say uh, one of your best friends is because for the... Um, the amount of meat that you get is severe it is severely high in protein. Very high in protein. And that's what you need. 
It's low calorie and high in protein. So, is it why? It's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is getting y'all. It's getting kind of hot. Uh-oh. Yeah, y'all. <coughs> If you, especially if you've had weight loss surgery, seafood is going to be your best friend if you can, if you're not allergic to it. Because you can get, I mean, a crap load of protein in. And it's, 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 it digests in your system smoothly. Compared to beef and chicken. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to look up one day what the approximate numbers are per serving for like protein. I know it's high and very, very high in protein. <clears throat> I think if I ever had to do a restrictive type of diet, it'd be pescatarian. So I can eat fish, seafood all day. Just switch up your seasonings. It'd be like a whole new meal. Whole new meal. You think I can finish this? They didn't come out smoothly. Not like I wanted it to, but it's going to come up out of them. Nothing else. Come on now. Get this me out of here. You think this is a game? And where's my uncle Mike? You think this is a game? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, come on. I gotta have. Mm-mm. 
y'all. I'm gonna get this out. Fight is on. Got it. Got, got him done. Do nothing. Too different. Mm -mm. Guess we're gonna have to break it. The sixty-nine pounds. Uh huh. I ain't gonna waste. Crap! I can afford it or not. Getting that. Feed into my belly. That's going to happen. Don't come out one way or another. Y'all, shouldn't again. I know my video's being long. I'm sorry, y'all. But I'm hungry. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, because of what AB say, you take that first ring off. Pop it in your mouth. I ain't doing it. I think I'll go them a little bit, but that's okay. They're still gonna get eight. Mm-hmm. It's Miss Bok Choi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's so good, y'all. I'm gonna eat this and then we'll go.
Mm. Mm. Get that middle part. Yep, yeah, buddy. Almost there, y'all. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Almost. <laughs> No, you didn't. All right, y'all. There we go. All right, y'all. Don't forget to be blessed. Stay blessed and be a blessing to somebody else. And if you made it this far in my shenanigans, leave me some hearts. I thank you very much. We're not out of this pandemic. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and wash your ass. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Bye.